Okay, so it is that time of year where we are finishing up 2023 and going into 2024. And I will probably be doing uh, several videos, but the one is, um, this mainly is a ending 2023, um, starting 2024, just showing you the planners I used and um, what I plan to use next year, which reminds me I need to grab something so I can show you everything I did. So let's start with um, what I did last this year of 2023. So my main planner um, is the Hobonichi and it is the Techo Cousin, which is the A5 size. And I did it in the AVEC so that I had um, split the year in two that way. Because otherwise it's just, it doesn't, it's too, it gets too fat. It doesn't hold everything. And then it's really hard to write. And then um, I used this cover this year. This is a Hobonichi Techo cover. And um, it just went over this pink. This is a pink um, cover and great like a beige on the inside or a taupe or whatever so the first um, I just this is how I used this this was the first half of the year and actually what I did um, the first half of the year I journaled in this so I was going to use this part I didn't I did keep up with my monthly calendar and I kept up with my week calendar and then what I did was I did a daily log and I journaled in here. So I did that. Um, I did that almost the whole time. Let's see, how far did I go before I changed? So what I did is I went all the way through the 17th and then I decided that I really needed the space um, for my classes because I was starting a course. And, oh no. I just decided I needed more more space for doing work, daily log, and studying. So I wanted to put that in here. And when I did that, I went to this A6 Hobonichi Techo, the original. And I started on, looks like, yep, the 18th, I started journaling in here, so I removed the first four months because I didn't need them, the first four and a half months. And I have journaled in here since every day. So that was what that plan was. So then what I did when I went to the second half of the year, because this was the first half, here's the second half. And I pretty much kept up. I didn't do anything here at all. Um, I was gonna, and I just didn't um, feel like it worked. So I just went ahead, did my calendar. As you can see, looks like I need to pull this out of here. Mm. I pulled everything out already to get ready for next year too. But yeah, I kept that up, and then this has to come out as well. I kept up my weeks through the whole time, and I do need to finish catching up from last, let's see, yeah, right up to Christmas. So I do need to fill this in and fill in this week, and then it's done. And then what I did is I used it more for uh, the daily log. I used it for class and I used it for work. And I kind of started, yeah, I started doing some different, like putting in main things I did and then kept up that way. So like here's December, I'll just flip through. And I did record I recorded all the way through the 18th, the 16th, 16th, 
of December, so I have to finish up this, which I'll do a video doing that and just do a flip, a flip through, because here we are today. So those are my two main ones in this past year. Then the other one I did, here was another one that I did, was my camping journal. And I did keep this up for quite a while. And then I changed my mind about what I wanted to do in it. But I kept it up. This was from 2022, so all of last year. And most of this year, I got a vacation, camping vacation in here. And I just decided... Um, when did I decide to change what I was doing? It looks like the last one I did was uh, Labor Day. And I did have a camping, one or two camping trips after Labor Day. And just decided not to do this, a camping journal anymore. It's beautiful. I love it. But I was writing, here I was writing, uh, journaling in here, journaling that whole day in here, and journaling the log daily log in here and honestly it was too much so for now I'm just not gonna do that um, the other thing I did was my faith journaling which I do every day I do the soap in here which is scripture observation application and prayer and I get two years in one of these books so this one is almost done I'm gonna have to pull just change the journal out. We are right at the end of the year. I do this every day. I don't miss any days. And this is my prayer journal. And this has been since March of 2021. And um, I have got a ways to go yet in this. So I don't think I'm even, maybe ha not even halfway. So this will last me um, forever. So I'll just continue using that. I will switch this out. I'll show you that in a second. And this is just my personal faith journaling. I kept my other one in here, which I ended in January 2023. Um, and I've got other ones previous to this. And then this is this year's, and I have been very bad about journaling, July 14th. Um, <laughs> and then before that, it was April. So I have not uh, been very good about keeping up in here. So this year I really hope to do better, but I will continue this in here as well. And since I want to set these aside, this daily journal one is going to be replaced with the exact same thing. This is from Seven Seas, uh, Nanami Paper Company. And this will be the next volume, volume three. So I did two years of this in my Bible, so this will be year six doing this method. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm going to put that away someplace so it's out of the way. But yeah, that's um, what I'm gonna be switching over to. All right, now I think I'm gonna sit down. I wanna show you what my other plans are. Okay, the easiest one is going to be the Hobonichi. I am gonna move out of this cover. I'm gonna use this cover um, for something else. So that means I got a new cover on Etsy actually, and then just got the plastic that covers it. As you can see, it's very thin. Here's what it looks like <laughs> when you have not written anything, and then there's the, like a whole year is crazy. So what I did is I've got it partially set up, not completely. So I have some stuff in here and here. And um, I did one thing, cause this is the calendar and I decided to do my inks for the month. I, I like to use um, three inks each month. So I've got, um, this really dark, dark purple, almost a foggy purple, and then a teal, and then a bright purple. And those are my colors, because I want to do teal and purple for January. So that's kind of that writing 
the theme of those colors and I have that here. Here's another thing I got um, for Christmas was this crystal or glass um, holder for my fountain pens. These are very, these are my cheap pens. That's kind of what I'm using this month. Um, next month, I'll probably, you know, I just use different ones each time. So I just pick whatever works. And some of these are pretty inexpensive, actually. Well, most of mine are inexpensive, but that's what that is. So this is, let me put this one aside. And this is the new one. And I'm debating on how I'm going to do things. Um, I am going to do my tracking. I did my tracking in here for steps. This and every steps, workout, and water <clears throat> and weight was all tracked in here. I'm not going to do that this next year. In fact, I'm now I'm really thinking about how I want to do things. And I haven't totally decided, but here's the techo. And what I think I'm going to do, I have been using these two things for lists. So, like, for instance, here, this is actually a Lectherm, and this is my camping log. So I've switched my camping log over to this. And I'm going to keep that, and I'm going, I'm going to totally leave, leave that as is. So I would just write, it's a very basic where we went what it cost um, camping journal and that's staying the same and then this one is for the list so this actually is just packing list um, for camping and that doesn't change so these two are going to actually stay exactly the way they are so this I will continue using and I did use this just for part of the year not for the entire thing so I have that for lists. And I was using this one for some lists and I'm thinking of doing something different. So this one is going to be put away and um, maybe I'll pick it up someday. It's kind of like a weekly to do or whatever. Like there's things I, I need to remember and keep it top of mind. And that's kind of what that was for. So we're using this for camping, um, the log and the packing list. And I just use either one of these two pens. I just use cartridges um, for these though. I love this pen so much. But I don't, I don't use it as much as I would like. And I'm thinking I may, I'm kind of debating on what I'm where and what, because I would kind of like here for this to use, this is a really nice uh, Pentel, Energel, I mean liquid gel pan by Pentel, which I love. So I'm thinking of putting this here. And this is just cartridges. It's just an inexpensive fountain pen and it's cartridges. And so I thought maybe I would use these two with this book. I haven't totally I haven't totally decided, but um, that is kind of my thought. The only thing is, is when you put these pens in here, they don't they don't work well here. So I have to think about that. I could always put one of these pens here instead of what I'm doing. Like I could put this one, I could leave this one here, put this one like here and put this one here because look at how beautifully that matches. But can I get it out easily? That's my, it's always my thing. How easily can I get it out of here? Yeah, so you kind of, that's the only thing with some of these that don't, that are tight. Well, then what you can do is just pull out your pen and write this way. But like I said, I, I really haven't totally decided. Um, what I'm gonna do with the new one, I think this is going to become my list. Like these are things I need to get done, uh, appointments I need to make, or if I made and I need to get it onto my calendar. 
Um, I think this is just going to be what I would call a reminder book. That's my thought because I'm thinking of returning to journaling in here. So if I don't journal, daily journal in here, I will daily journal in here, which means if I don't do the list making in here, I'm going to do it in here. Um, I just have not decided yet. It's really hard to kind of figure out what you're doing and my mind is still trying to, I'm still trying to kind of figure out what I wanna do exactly. So I have not decided um, exactly how I'm gonna do it. My tracking system though is gonna be different and I will show you that um, when I figured that out all the way. The other thing I'm using is the um, first time the five-year Hobonichi Techo. So that starts this year. I've never used it before. I've inked up this pen with a pretty maroon color, the sailor pen, and this is the one I'm going to use at the moment in here. And so I have to decide what do I want to put in here. And um, I would kind of like on um, the events thing, I would kind of like to put maybe just the highlights of the day. I'm thinking, um, I haven't totally decided. I don't have very long to make up my mind, <laughs> but I'm just letting you know, I'm, I'm just kind of working on what exactly um, do I want to use it for? And I haven't totally decided yet, which is why I also need to put this in here because this is a calendar reminder for March that I want to make sure I have in here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking about that, like what I should do, because I'm not 100% sure yet. So that's one other thing. Um, these are notes I have to transfer into there for the different things I am gonna do. Because I keep track of, besides the tracking, I do keep track of Christmas cards and birthdays, um, words of the year, different things like that. And I've had these miscellaneous notebooks like here and here. So here, this one's just got some stuff I wrote. I really, this one has no use <laughs> and it will, I'm gonna work on some stuff. And then this one, I've just been like my camping list, um, just different things, A really missile, tons of miscellaneous Christmas plans. Um, today I took it to the restaurant with my husband and I made, we made our camping plans. So I want to do that, but I want to do it in, um, a different book. So what I have here is what I plan to use for some of this. So let me just pull some things out because see, I had this, this one, all the lists and there's nothing in it at all. This is the Hobonichi Techo, July through December. That's going to go back where it belongs till the year starts. But then I got three journals that, um, notebooks that I'm going to use for tracking. So these other ones are going to be more obsolete, I think. So my plan is, this is an, what is it? I do, I do notes something like that, but I liked it. Um, I'm gonna pull this out of here because I'm not gonna use this one. It, to me, it just feels super cheap and I'll use it for something, but not this. Okay, so I have this container. I really like this because you can put, um, you can put your phone in here, you can put a pen, like if you're going somewhere. And actually this is probably uh, the best the best for this set, come to think of it. Like I could put this here, and I could put this here, and then I could put some note paper in here. So actually, this is probably gonna be um, the best use for this one. 
but I'll pull those out for now because it's kind of bulky. All right, so let's make sure I got this set in frame for you guys, okay? Now I'm gonna show you these different notebooks. So this one is, um, who is this by? This is the MD notebook uh, by Midori, and this is made in Japan. And this is just the square, like the graph paper. So I'm gonna put that on this side. And I can use this, I think. See, it's not gonna fit perfect. And, and I did know that this was not correct. So do I leave, this was not my plan, that's why. Terry can't remember anything. All right, let's pull this out while I, while I think about what I'm really going to do with this. Maybe, maybe I should use this for note taking. I'm curious um, as to what will fit in here. That fits a little better, so I do like that. And then maybe, does this fit? This is a Fabriano or something from Michael's, not Michael's, uh, Joanne's is, carries this brand. So that won't work either. So I could do this. Do I wanna do this? I don't know. So as you see, I have got to really, I've got to figure out because I don't really like this. Unless I do this hmm, for work, because I kind of like to not put my work planner, like I was putting my work in here, um, but I'm finding that I don't need to have something written down for work on a daily, a daily basis at all. So maybe I should do my work in here anyway, and I can make the list because I had considered, I had gotten this, I considered doing that. Um, I don't know. I got this for somebody and I didn't give it to them and, um, yeah, now I don't know what to do with it. So it might be a gift, a gift for somebody else. All right, so what I want to do then is maybe keep this and decorate this and use this for work alone. I'm thinking that might be the best option. And my work pen is usually this one right here, but I think I shall use my Hobonichi, one of my Hobonichis, this one, because it's the three colors. And then this is probably gonna be the best, you know what, this is probably gonna be the best solution is to use this for work. So, I'm gonna slip in some extra pages. It can just start like this. And I think that'll be the best, so work. So we have my regular, let's just look at what we've got for this year. And this I'm gonna come back to and show you. The regular daily planner, which is gonna have everything, all kinds of stuff like I do in it. So I think I will um, probably journal in here. And then I will use this for camping. I will use this for those daily, I need to do this list, and this for um, special highlights of the day, um, things like that. I haven't totally totally figured that out. That's the thing, you know, with people and planners, you just got like a gazillion planners. So here's my idea is this is going to come out of here. So I'm just going to take it out now. Okay. All right. And this has only got like three days left and we're done. So that's fine. And then I've got these things I want to use for different things. 
so I have this Laconic Gantt chart. It's a monthly scheduling management system and it's for 16 months, which I think is fantastic. And it comes with a little ruler. That's really nice. And um, here it is. It's very simple. You have here, you have your, um, it's really great for tracking. So here, look at, you have this whole year, like at a glance, not just a year, but this is like um, December of 23, all the way to March of 25. So this is really, um, a really good way to track something. So I would track something here. And then I can track here as well. This is the monthly calendars. And then after the monthly, you get into um, here. And this is excellent for tracking as well. Like I could do exercise, water, steps, um, just different things like that. And I could do notes. So I'm really, this this one is for sure going to be um, for tracking. So that. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna um, take put this here for now. I have different rulers, so I kinda use whatever works best for me. Um, I have all these rulers. I've got a metal and a plastic and I've got this one that's a little heavier plastic. This is a very thin one. And I also have this one. <laughs> See, all kinds of, all kinds. So I just have to decide uh, which one I wanna go in here. So this actually is gonna stay out. Also, I just realized I have this and I just, I have not figured out what to put it on, but it will hold two pens and I'm not even sure. I picked it up because I thought I would use it and I have not decided yet. So there it is. All right, so that I have that. And then I've got a monthly and this is also laconic and this is a little bit different set up. Um, so here's your, Here's your monthly calendar. Um, and it, that's all it is, is it's, it's like, it's just the months. And then there's some note paper at the end. So I'm, I'm contemplating exactly how I'm gonna use this. And then I've got this idea notebook, which can be used for anything. Um, I've already put this in here, but I'm gonna take these out because I'm working on what kind of things I'm going to put in. So if I'm using this, um, I think what I would do is put this here. Okay, there we go. And then um, this for sure will be for my tracking. So I kind of want to, I wanted to see how far this goes in. Okay, so like this would be for my tracking weight. Everything is going to be um, in here. And then this one, um, I see, I have, I'm not sure. It's just kind of like, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do and how I wanna do it, but I don't have that completely figured out. Um, so I'm gonna put this one here. and run it like this. And because I'm not putting stickers in, um, this will be perfect for this. And then I have to decide, well, what am I gonna use to write in here? And I think I will use this um, Hobonichi because it's such a nice fine point um, and it fits in here super easy, in, out, in, out. And I love that style. So that's gonna stay in here. And I don't, and I think if I need to write in something thicker, um, like for a headline, a headline thing, um, this probably will work actually. 
So maybe I'll put this one here and I'll put this one here and there, that'll be perfect. So if I want to, it's all in, it's all enclosed. Don't like that. Nope. We're just going to go with this. Okay. <laughs> all set. So this, I'm, I'm very happy with this idea here. Um, maybe some highlighter, like a thin highlighter is another option. Um, like I have these, these highlighters, but I can just come and use those in here. I've got highlighters all over the place. So yeah, so that's going to be for that. So that's the notebook. That's for complete tracking. Um, and that sort of thing, and i um, not really sure what I'm going to put in here, but I'm going to keep it here. So we have tracking. We have work. So that's my work. We have my daily planning and memory keeping, my journaling. This, this is really the memory keeping. The log, the memory keeping is totally in here. And... Um, I think I don't think I'm going to put um, my classes in here. I only have a year's worth of classes left to take. And I've got my highlighting in here. I've got my camping in here. This is going to be the cover. I'm gonna take this out now too, cause I'm almost done. And it'll get all decorated up the way I want it to but I'm just gonna take it out and finish that up there. And then, so what should go in here is this Tetcho. And I haven't, like I said, I hadn't totally decided what to use it for, but I could use it. Um, I'm pretty much set that it's going to be my uh, reminder notebook with all the lists and reminders and things I need to remember. There's always things to remember. So um, that's kind of the plan for that. So yeah, I guess I'm down to six. I'm not counting my faith journal planners. So we have the tracking stuff, the daily, the work, the reminder, and this is the camping. And this is going to be, of course, the highlights. And I might do the weather in here. I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna, I can overflow when there's more to talk about, maybe. Um, I was thinking this, this one, you know, where I said I wasn't sure totally what's gonna go in this notebook, but this might be a good place for like resolutions and goals and vision stuff. I'm not really sure yet, you know just kind of like let's let's wait and see now I did want to show you one other thing so now you see my lineup for the year I think it's pretty good a little crazy maybe but generally okay this is my new desk calendar um, I also want to show you this this is a I love this this is a um, stencil I got at Target and it's pretty heavy duty metal of some kind but I love it so I'm trying might use that and these are my um, these are my um, tabs which are from salt salt and charm I think so there'll be things I'm gonna be setting up stuff you know to do I haven't set it all up yet, but I kind of like, I'm kind of tempted to put this here just because I, oh, you can't see it. I don't know if I've got a clear cover. Um, sometimes I've got covers like extra but I don't have a clear cover extra for this, so I guess I can't put this here. This would have been pretty, right? I can always order a clear cover and replace this one with a clear if I want, so that's an option. 
I'll just put this in here. These are things I gotta do. Like here's my blotting papers that I use and I just gotta get the sizes figured out. And I got these two tabs, gotta figure out where these pencil boards are gonna go and some more blotting paper. So all of that is stuff I'm still kinda getting together. It's not ready. All right, and then this, uh, as I was saying, is the calendar I want to use this coming year. And this is a Hima, Himakuri, Himakuri calendar, desk calendar. So let me just flip this out of here and we'll take a look at it. Um, I saw this, I got this from Yoseka Stationery. I believe um, I saw it and I was like, oh, I love this. So what paid every day there's this tiny little thing and it's sticky and you can stick it onto a book like put it in a book or you can put it in here um I doubt I'm going to put it in here because, I, well, for one thing, this is all in Japanese. I have no clue what it's saying, so it doesn't really matter, and I don't see the point. Um, I was going to see how this little thing works. <clears throat> Maybe it just, it just sits like that. Looks like it's pretty simple. But that is my plan, and what I want to do is put these as I take them off. I'm going to choose, um, this is what I was going to do. I kind of, I want to put them in here. So let's go to January 1st. So where it would go would be, it's either going to go here. It's going to bulk up. So I want to be able to move them around. So if I put them here, it wouldn't, well, it just wouldn't work. So let's say here's day one. I'm going to go ahead and do day one. Um, and then as you peel it off, then there's more colors. And it's so cute. It's so stinking cute. So I could put it down here. Um, I could put it up here. Really, I, what I'll do is I'll move it around because I don't want it to, like, want to be careful where it bulks up. But so you just stick it in here um, and it's super cute. And if I want this to be laid down flatter, um, I figure I can just take a glue stick like this. This one's gonna stay here. I'm just going to leave it. Just take a glue stick and glue that down. The bottom part, um, I really like it. It's like an extra strong sticky note and it's so cute. And then, um, oh, here's how this works. So this goes in here and here. Oops, and in here. I didn't say it was easy. And then it just sits like a triangle on your desk. So I like that a lot, and that is going to be my cute little thing. So I'm super happy. So I'm going to keep up. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do daily log and then memory keeping, like journaling, or if I'm just going to um, do more. My daily log should probably, the calendar, the monthly calendar is the same, but my daily log I should just do here and then do just memory keeping here. And I think that will work the best for me. So that's my plan to use those adorable stickers. Um, I love it. I think they're so cute. So yeah, this will be planning, um, more of a memory keeping planning. So events that go on during the month and the daily log on these week pages and then the journaling, memory keeping type thing, diary, whatever you want to call it, is going to be on these pages. So I think that's going to work great. So I think that's all the new things I had to show you. So we'll just kind of re-put all six, all six planners um, 
for this year. And um, I like it. I think it's going to work out good. Um, probably the only thing I have to do now for the next video will be to finish up December and decorate on camera and then um, do the flip through and, and close out. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.